everybody, Roman wants you to know that if you are a seasoned wholesale account rep, they are looking to hire you. Good change of scenery, great company, and one of the fastest growing segments in the mortgage industry. Yeah, check this out. All you have to do is click this banner right over there, scroll down on your mobile, it's down at the bottom or somewhere in this ecosystem. All right, for starters, I want to thank the St. Louis Mortgage Bankers Association and the Washington Association of Mortgage Professionals for having me last week and your two absolutely wonderful cities. I got to tell you, these are great associations. They have great leadership and great loan officers. They really do. Now, one thing stuck for me with both locations, and that is just how much the mortgage industry provides for local causes. If there's one thing we do well, that's it. Now, from associations to companies to individual loan officers, we as an industry are raising money for, participating in, and organizing events all for the benefit of our communities. Now, we've done this and we will continue to do this going forward on all levels all the time. It's just everywhere, guys. Think about it. So now I want you to think. How can you compete against discount centralized and automated mortgage companies out there? Because that's what everybody's talking about. Well, there's a whole bunch of ways that we just can't go over today, but it's not lost on me that the Keller mortgages of Ohio or the Rockets and probably Amazon mortgages out there who are trying to compete against you, they're not taking all of your local commissions and bodies and reinvesting it into your local communities like you're doing right now. I don't know if they would, but you see, they can't do that. So what I think that the mortgage industry that I love needs to do is get a little bit more proud of what you guys are all doing in your communities and have a call to action. You make your daddy proud. You hear me? I'm gonna make you proud, daddy. I'm gonna make you so proud. You make your daddy proud. You're gonna be so proud. 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 For instance, yes, it's great that you build and fund, say, I don't know, Habitat for Humanity, but you need to post more frequently about these activities with a call to action. That being, when you get a mortgage with a local lender, that you folks all reinvest that money and that time into your communities, making your communities better. See, we act locally, we buy locally, we farm to fork locally, we should equally and actually tell our sphere of influence to mortgage locally. And yet this is just one of the many reasons to use a local lender. All the good that you folks are doing for your communities right now. So the Wall Street Journal says that the Trump administration is setting to make changes to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now the changes they can make is to increase the G fee, according to the Wall Street Journal, and to change the loan amounts. This is front page stuff on the Wall Street Journal. Now, the concern is, though ill-founded, is that Trump is going to increase the G fee and reduce loan amounts. Both of these things I'm here to tell you right now boldly are not going to happen, period. They should have never written the article. It's not gonna happen. That's because the G fee is essentially a tax that those who utilize the GSEs pay for the privilege of a Fannie Freddie backed mortgage. If Trump said anything and done anything, it's been to reduce taxes. Good for corporations, right? If you like them or hate them. And second, the widely agreed upon stagnation of our real estate industry is home values are too high. So it would be unlikely and I dare say foolish to reduce Fannie and Freddie's loan limits. So this article by the Wall Street Journal is truly much ado about nothing. Now here's what I find funny as hell and typical. I mean, having looked at the industry for so many years, is the response that we, the industry, gave back to the Wall Street Journal and to our government agencies. Here's what we said. Some two dozen housing groups urge Washington policymakers in a September open letter to take great care that any efforts to remove Fannie and Freddie from government control are prudently developed and implemented over a sensible time horizon. <laughs> I want you to think about this for a second. Seriously, think about this. Yes. This is what we can expect from our industry leaders. It's to say nothing. I mean, to be prudent, 
and to be sensible? I mean, as opposed to what? I, you know, we were going to shoot for illogical if it wasn't for the carefully considered guidance from the mortgage industry leaders. I, I mean, why say anything? We need to hold these clowns to a higher standard. I mean, hell, where's Mark Savitt when you need him? So here's how the Wall Street Journal article should have read. The administration is going to do nothing about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and the mortgage industry tells the administration absolutely nothing about doing nothing whatsoever. I, that's really the story, and that's kind of half the problem now, isn't it? And if you disagree with me, please tell me how I'm wrong. Now, I'll tell you something that our industry leaders should do. And I saw this post from a friend of mine, Michael Fisher. He said, a listing agent won't accept a veteran's offer on Veterans Day because it's a VA loan. Now, isn't that ironic for all the wrong reasons? So we just celebrated Veterans Day and everybody says that we should go up to vets and thank them for their service. And we should every day, not just Veterans Day. But how about this one on for size for our vets? If we truly appreciate vets and their service, let's make veterans and their loans a protected class so that type of crap doesn't happen again. And if a future vet with a VA loan is not considered by that real estate agent, make that agent and make that company pay through their nose. Because I know lenders, guys, and I promise you, if your association took this challenge and didn't beat around the bush, you'd see your membership grow. Because lenders as a community believe in helping vets, want to help vets, work towards helping vets with their marketing time, effort, and their money. Make this one the law of our land. Work towards that goal, and we will get behind your organization, whoever it may be. Let's truly help our nation's veterans with our deeds in addition to our words. Hey, listen, share this on your social sites. It totally helps us out, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks a whole bunch. Subscribe if you've never seen us before. I know you're out there. Thank you.